Hey guys, how's it going? It's X Towers here. I'm here with a, a quick video a tutorial, really, on how to stream to own3d.tv or own TV uh, with your XSplit broadcaster. Uh, this is just a quick and dirty way to stream. I'm not getting into any big details, but if you're just looking to stream straight up, this will help you out. So uh, the first thing you need to do is set up your channel in own3d.tv. You do this by creating a, an account, of course, and then um, what you want to do is go to your live streams. You need to add a live stream, actually. And you can also set up your channel, too. Now, the way it works is you have to request a channel, request your live stream. It may take a few hours for them to set it up for you. In the meantime, you can always change your uh, channel, you know, like add different um, tags, add your description, add your name, um, all that good stuff. But again, it may take a few hours. You can see here that I've added a description, you know, my name, of the name of the channel, uh, different tags. If you have a game, that's very popular and may be listed under here. Otherwise, you can just type in unlisted game and that'll work just fine. The other thing is if you're playing a competitive game, you may want to set a delay on your channel. That's one thing that's really nice about owned.tv. Uh, you can set up a channel, so if you're, maybe your competitors uh, will want to watch you while they're playing against you, this way they won't be able to know where you are on the map or know your location uh, or anything like that. It'll keep them in the dark if they're trying to watch you while they're playing. Um, the next thing you want to do is get XSplit, of course. You go to XSplit.com and just download their installer. You're also going to need to create an account. You're going to want to use this account to log into XSplit when you first start it. But you only never need, ever need to do it once, or at least I've only ever needed to do it once. Um, but yeah, XSplit installs pretty easily. Uh, the next step, once you get it all installed, is to set up a channel. You go to broadcast up on the top bar and go to edit channels. Since I am streaming live right now, I can't actually add a channel for you, but I've done the next best thing, which is taking a picture of the channel adder, and I'll bring that up for you right now. Um, so you can see in the channel here, you want to add your own 3D.TV account, username and password. And once you put that in, it should actually pull up your channel. If it's set up, again, you may need to wait a few hours, but if it's set up, it should pull up your channel. Otherwise, type it in verbatim. Um, you can also put in your location. I don't know if that's very necessary. Next is uh, video encoding. Um, if you have a fairly decent computer, I'm talking about at least quad core, at least four megabytes of RAM, um, you can probably keep it at the default settings. If you have a fairly bad computer, uh, maybe a dual core, um, you're still going to want at least 4 megabytes of RAM to upload, but if you got like a slightly lower end computer, you're going to want to set the quality down a bit. Depending on your upload rate for your internet, you may want to set down your max bit rate too. Um, and then audio, you don't really need to worry about. You could actually probably increase the bit rate on audio because it's it has a fairly low impact on your overall quality and nicer audio is always nicer. <laughs> um, so once you've got that set up, you know, you just go accept, yes, okay, that's fine, and you should have your channel all set up. Uh, once that's all set up, and again, if Own3D has approved your live stream and it's going well on their end, you can go over to XSplit and 
to start streaming from XSplit, you go up to Broadcast and you just click on your own 3D tag up there. And it will start shooting beams out to own3d.tv. And um, that's it on the XSplit's end. Um, you can see actually up at the top it'll start saying streaming live own 3D and then your channel name it'll show you how many viewers you have right now I have zero because this isn't something I'm announcing to all my friends and then it'll show your bitrate too mine's doing kind of poorly right now but it should suffice alright so, so that's it for XSplit's end you want to go to um, own 3D actually own 3D TV and up at the top let me get out of here up at the top um, if you're logged in first log in if you haven't already but up at the top you'll see a broadcast button that's a very nice button because this will tell on 3 dtv that you want to start broadcasting so you click that and up pops this neat little recorder device and um, it uh, you it'll say choose the live stream. Most users will have one, so you just press select, and then it'll pop up with uh, a little bit of additional information like your viewers and your stream status. Um, my stream is live, and it was already being recorded, of course, for my audience. Um, but that's all you need to do. You're, li you're streaming live. Another cool thing is when you start streaming off of XSplit, it will actually paste a, uh, a URL to your live stream on owned.tv and it goes straight to your clipboard. So all you have to do is open your web browser if you want to start watching yourself stream. You can press Control V to paste that stream to your web browser press enter and you'll go right to it so you can give that link to all your friends and you'll, um, go right to it. And you'll start hearing yourself which is really creepy I hate it <laughs> um, the, uh, the last thing I wanted to show you is the record button you can see that I'm recording it's being recorded right now the stream um, to do that you see where the, right, right where the stop record button is when you first start broadcasting it'll say start record and then it'll be green if you want to record your video straight up to own 3d.tv all you have to do is press that start record button it's that easy own 3d.tv will start saving your video and once you're done streaming and or you press your stop record button it will create a video on own 3d.tv that you can watch indefinitely and that's a really nice feature. You can also set up on 3D.tv to upload your videos straight to YouTube straight away. You can make clips, you know, little one to two minute segments that you find interesting from your streams and save those. So it's a really nice setup. I like the way on 3D.tv or own TV um, yeah, has their streaming uh, set up. It's very nice and easy. Um, couple that with the easy interface of XSplit. It's, uh, it's a dream come true. So that's my video on how to stream to own3d.tv with uh, XSplit. I hope you found this useful. Have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment box down below. Alright, bye.